three weeks since Kenya was stripped off the right to host the 2018 African Nations Cup due to political reasons. But was it really political reasons? We tackle everything surrounding the African Nations Cup 2018 that Kenya was supposed to host in this week's edition of Behind the Headlines. A drive around most of the neighborhoods in Nairobi will at some point lead you to a dusty playing ground with tens of football players kicking a ball around, some just for the fun of it while it's still a path to a bright future to others. Despite the poor governance and the lackluster performance by the national team Harambe Stars, football still remains the most popular sport in the country. In the outskirts of Kibra, a two-year-old boy is among players who are at the Woodley Grounds for Monday evening friendly match. New York Cosmos and Harambe Stars defender David Cheche Chiang is among the current generation of players who started their football careers here. Soccer talent FC Alan Balo hopes to follow in David Chiang's footsteps to play football abroad, but that dream shrinks with each sunset. In Kenya, it's the same thing, it's corruption and everything else. So you find out that um, we were told we are going to have stadiums, we're supposed to host Chan and we can't host it right now because of the governance. Balor represents many other football players who feel disappointed after the withdrawal of Kenya's rights to host the African Nations Cup Chan. But before getting carried away by the September 24th events in Accra, Ghana, Let's go back to how Kenya was awarded the rights to host the African Nations Championships on Friday 21st of February 2014 in Cairo, Egypt, during a Confederation of African Football Executive meeting. I, I made an application for Chan, although I already earlier on made an application for AFCON, which of course I was supported by government. When they say they are, they are, not, they are not going to give us um, um, uh, AFCON, then I now tried to venture into, into Chan made the applications, came and told my government, came and told the, the, the minister, I informed the whole government system, and they gave me a green light. So I, we applied for Chan, we went for the interviews, and I think CAF, with um, its wisdom, decided to assist Kenya uh, to get Chan, even, even, even without going through all the necessary bidding. The former FK president, Mr. Sam Nyamwea, was in very good books with the former CAF uh, president, uh, Isaiah, too. Basically, this was like a friendship thing, telling him, basically giving it to Kenya just like a word of thanks, because they were like, if as long as we are not going to embarrass us the way you did it in 1996, then we are good to go. You can have it and... Uh, we proceed with it. The former Football Kenya Federation president Sam Nyamoya took the hosting rights in extremely good spirits. It signaled a renewed hope in football at a time it all looked gloomy on the pitch and in administration. The office was struggling with diminished goodwill from football stakeholders. But how did the former office plan to go around the chant preparations? We ask Sam Nyamoya. We came up with a, um, um, a local organizing committee. Very quickly, local organizing committee composed of um, uh, sports administrators. Uh, the government and everybody felt I should be the chairman of the local organizing committee because this is a very big event. On top of that, we had people from government. After appointing the, 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 the local organizing committee, I expected the minister to gazette that local organizing committee. Then, 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 then we, can, we, can, we, can, we, can, we can run with it. Um, even be before assessment, I can frankly tell you that we had several meetings with the local organizing committee, and we had laid down all the all the, all the necessary requirements so that we don't we are not caught up with time. When you come to office and the previous office has, has lost two years, how do you recover the two years? Those that have been lost, do you understand what I'm saying? So the going concern was immediately we came in in April we brought in the CAF team and we started to work. That's what I can tell you we did. 
So what, what was done in the other two years, if it's a debt, uh, for example, we are paying those debts. That's going concern. But if it's time that was lost, how would I recover it? We can't recover it. The well-elaborate plans on paper that is came to an end on 10th of February 2016 when Sam Nyamoya withdrew his presidential candidature just a few hours before the commencement of the FKF elections that saw Nick Mwendo elected president. As Secretary General of Sakafa and now as the first president of KF, and the record is there for all to see, but there comes a time to make critical decisions. That time, dear friends, has come and I have to make a call, a call to hand over active leadership of football and oversee a smooth transition. In his withdrawal speech, Nyamoya pledged to oversee a smooth transition. So was Chan part of the transition? Did the former office ever get to sit and talk about Chan plans? When the young man took over, because he's a, he's a, uh, Nick, Nick Mwendwa is, uh, he worked with me, uh, he was my, uh, um, my uh, transfer uh, um, manager. I, 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 because of the country, I love, I love this country. I, I, I undertook and told him, the minister, that even if I'm leaving it, I'm ready prepared to assist as much as possible. But you know, assisting is two way. You cannot wake up and can I assist you if someone is not ready to be assisted? So I told them that if they have any problem, let them come to me so that I can assist them. The point at which we lost Chan is when there were fresh elections. Of course, the, the current federation, it came in with a very, very nice goodwill. But immediately they came in, there was a fight. There was a fight between them and the former uh, federation led by Sam Yamwea. And remember, Sam Yamwea was a man who, you know, who was handled the, you know, all the instruments of hosting Chan. So the current federation, what they should have done is to sit down with the, the former federation and tell them exactly how did you, you know, where did you reach with the organization of CAF? What did, are some of the things that we need to do? But they never did. They were fighting each other. So there was so much confusion. So looking at it well, at that particular point, we lost it. So for things to come and happen later, it was just basically, you know, our own mistake because even the lobbying, the lobbying was poor because how... We have to blame the government, yes, but does the government know the program of football? It does not know the timetable of football. For It was upon the federation and the LOC to lobby properly, but they started it late. At that point, we had completely lost it. And even Kenyans could see, and even the, the layman will see, like, this game, no, this tournament is going, not going to be held in Kenya. When Nick Mwendo took over football management, his team popularly referred to as Team Change then was expected to bring about a wind of change. Since uh, uh, the new Football Kenya Federation came into office, there were some changes and uh, people started having that hope that uh, uh, maybe we might see Kenya improving in, in football. And, uh, but people, then that hope hasn't come to reality. It hasn't. It hasn't. <laughs> That's sad indeed. Fast forward to the year 2017 and one of the failures that Team Change will carry with them is the withdrawal of hosting rights for a tournament that was eagerly awaited. I was happy about, uh, about the, we hearing that Kenya is going to host Chan. So we're just waiting, we're just eagerly waiting to, to host the tournament and to have these different local, uh, local players come and play and represent our country in the, in the tournament. But where did Kenya go wrong and why did the Confederation of the African Football find Kenya unfit to host the tournament during an ex-com meeting held on 24th of September in Accra, Ghana? The decision was made that uh, due to many reasons, key being political situation, they are not going to take the chance to host Chan here. Kwa hiyo sababu moja kubwa, sababu kwa nyingi, kwa hiyo sababu moja kubwa, waliona ni heri, wape nchi nyingine, hiyo nafasi ya kuhost Chan. The 1st of September, Supreme Court ruling that ordered for a fresh presidential election had seen a Confederation of African Football Council a scheduled inspection, instead sending its vice president, Constance Omari, to assess the political situation. Maswali yake yote ilikuwa ni kama Kenya itakuwepo na uwezo kisiasa bila shida yote mwezi januari 
kufanya chan ndio walikuwa nataka kujua the inspection would however take place a week later to have a look at the facilities that painted a picture of unpreparedness the CAF delegation did not address the media as earlier promised still FKF president Nick Mwendwa remained confident CAF nawajua wale ni watu niokuwa nao mwaka moja na nusu sasa tunajuana vizuri tunapiga kura pamoja tunafanya siasa pamoja wanataka kuja Kenya kama haongekuwa wataki wangeshatoka nakwambia wangeshatoka mwezi wa 4 mwezi wa 5 as a sports permanent secretary peter kaberia who led the kenya delegation to the caf ex committee addressed the media upon arrival from accra he would find himself on the receiving end due to utterances he made about kenya having hotels and airports ready for chan but not the stadiums we had to ensure that the hospitality part is in place the infrastructure other supporting infrastructure now if you take the pitch the pitch is just one of them the stadia is another but the, we have the uh, the hospitals we have the hotels and all this and trying to put together all that infrastructure and make sure it is in order we seek to find out what he really meant i was saying we have all these other things and even uh, went to an extent of trying to explain that if you take for instance uh, places like uh, meru we had the new airport which had been opened which was operational which made it a lot easier for us to transport both players and spectators and officials between Nairobi and there but then there was nowhere to play uh, and that was my point that at this stage of development all those other things have reached their completion but we are now on the last leg of preparing the actual venue with the political situation coming out as the sole reason why Kenya was stripped of its rights, highlights of the CAF X committee published on the official website clearly outlined accumulated delays as the reasons for the withdrawal of rights. It is one thing to deny it and say, oh no, for this one it was purely because of the study. It is not true. I, I think there is also a consideration as to what international organizations can say in the open and what they can't say. Because for me, as the leader of delegation, I demanded to meet with the uh, president of uh, CAF. And what I'm saying, what I have been saying, is what he told me. I can tell you without fear or contradiction, that's a big lie. CAF did not award Kenya or withdrew because the facilities were not ready. Period. There is no political situation here which, which, which we are and people cannot play. We don't have the, what, what, what's wrong with the, any political situation here. Talk about uh, politics in the country, it is a uh, scapegoat. There. He does, here's a chance to get through to the final, Charles Bissouma. Behind the headlines takes a short break, but when we come back, we talk Kenya's failures while looking at Rwanda's 2016 chance success. Strikes for the...